This is a small conversation with uh, Mr. Uganda hopefuls in men's physique. Categories Fik and Nash, just about how they feel representing Eastern Uganda in physique and if they are ready because we go to Mr. Uganda on the 3rd of December this coming Saturday. So how a conversation with them. Are you looking for a getaway home? Look no further than Bucks Hotel. When you enter, you will find a simple garden for graduations birthdays and any other parties. They have an indoor hall for all occasions in Ginger. Bucks Hotel offers 24-hour services, excellent room service, airport shuttles, free internet and free parking that comes with security. Our guest rooms include climate control, DSTV and an amazing balcony. The hotel offers an English breakfast at the restaurant and also has dining points like the Rolex joints and the Source Cafe that provides you with local foods, English foods, Chinese foods, and Indian cuisines, all at affordable prices. We are located at Bucks Road, Plot 3, opposite Ginger Rifaro Hospital. What are you waiting for? Come and enjoy our mouth-watering dishes. Bucks Hotel. Discover the difference. Wow, this is amazing. Finally, I'm here with these amazing young people mr eastern who won in physique number one and number two they moved together uh, nash and fik can you say hello hello to our viewers this is nash number second men's physique mr eastern hello it's fik as usual number one physique eastern champion one thing i want to our viewers, people who are following you, because I said we are trying to promote bodybuilding, and so many young people are following up on this channel, and 10 million plus people are following up in Eastern Uganda, all the districts, you guys, all our eyes are on you in physique category, number one and number two. So how do you guys feel being number one and number two in Eastern Uganda? How do you feel as number two? Uh, I don't feel great as number two, but when it comes to Eastern Uganda, definitely I feel great. Uh, it was a dream come true for me to participate uh, in men's physique. Though I was aiming higher, but you know, God's plan. I was able to be number second, men's physique, Eastern. But I'm sure next year I have a lot of time to train and take off this man. <laughs> and I'm sure he's scared. Next year. <laughs> you know, I love this guy. He said he has some iron bars in the chest and all that. And, you know, he, he took the title. So how do you feel being number one in Eastern Uganda? Uh, hello, viewers. <laughs> allow me to thank God over this. And allow me to thank Mr. Augustine for the interview. I'm Fig, physique champion, Eastern region. I'm, I'm, I feel so great to be number one. I feel so great. And I thank God over everything because without him, I would have been nothing. But now I'm just working hard for the next level because what I know it is just a beginning for me and I'm still having a long journey to go. Yeah. So I do pray for my brothers and partners. <laughs> Let us just work hard. But as usual, I'm always number one. That's what I can tell them. Wow. <laughs> Okay, okay, this is great. You know, Fik, yeah. uh, I got interested in this when the Lord put me on YouTube, you know, to inspire young people through posting your videos and all that. I have been in the gym for over 10 years, but I don't have muscles like you guys. What do you do, man? How do you train? Tell me. There must be some trick. Maybe we begin from you, Nash. Hey, I haven't been in the gym for 10 years. I've been in the gym for one year. Wow. But all I can say is in everything, in everything we do, determination matters. God is number one, then determination number two. With gym, with training, with muscle gaining, it's all about determination and hard work. You know, like gymming is all about pushing yourself, like pushing yourself harder. So that's what I always do to be this guy. One year, one year training, and I'm number two Eastern. Wow. <laughs> How 
How about you, man? Yeah, what I know is one thing. In all, you have to first love. Love what you're doing. Give it time. Gym is not like going to like all driving or giving a bath that it is for one day. You know, giving a bath, it's a just, it's not even a day, just a time. But what I know about gym, you have to give it time. Ah. It's now my fourth year in gym. Four years in Yes. Gym. And look at me, man. I'm, <laughs> I'm over 20 years in gym. But you look good. Huh? You look good. I look good. Yeah, you yeah, look you good. Have the ah. have the <laughs> <laughs> so, I've been scared for next yeah, year. <laughs> you have to love and you have to train other and being with the nice partners. Mm. And you have to share the ideas. Is he your partner? Yes, he's my partner. Yeah, he's, he's my gym bro. Yeah. He, <laughs> wants to be, he wants to be number one when we go to number one. one. Yes, we shall be sharing that number, that position. Right now it's not all about us. Yes. It's about the guys in Kampala. Yes. It's about Mr. Uganda. Yes. It's about Mr. Eastern. Yes. yes we are, but like, I'm still used to train together. Yes, but we are. But through the last week, <laughs> <laughs> we are separated, bro. But I'm sure, yes. this time round, yes. we are like twins. We are training. So, yes. how do you feel going on the big stage of Mr. Uganda? How does that make you feel? Let me just say, I cannot even t explain it how I feel. But just, I feel so good. That's what I can say. I feel so good. And I feel so good to compete with such people in Kampala. The people who knows that they are the best. Yeah? Yeah. We are taking them, we are going to show them what they call bodybuilding from Jinja to Kampala. And we are going to destroy. Let us call ourselves punishers. We are just <laughs> How about you, Nash? How do you feel being on a big stage of over 45 million people following you and watching you live? Wow. Huh? Wow. <laughs> you know, like when we talk about Uganda, we aren't talking about Jinja. We are talking about Uganda, we are talking about over 17 million people. Mm. And me representing in front of all those people, wow. All I can say is, wow, that's a dream come true. I'm so humbled. I feel, I don't know, like, it has been my dream to be someone. So many people will forward. be cheering for me, performing Mr. Uganda, a big stage in a big crowd with the best judges in Uganda, among the best bodybuilders in Uganda. That's a dream come true for me. Uh, people who are looking forward to be on Mr. Uganda, people who saw the videos we've made, they also might want to know, are you guys prepared? Huh? Are you prepared? We are very, very prepared. But next Saturday, this Saturday, we're going to come out. Yes, exactly. We are in countdown of days and we are prepared. We are very prepared. I do thank my coach, he's called Ibra. I do thank him. I give him a salute for him. Okay, do you have, uh, I know you are ready as well, right? Because you're partners. Yeah, yeah, definitely I'm ready. Like, all I can thank is Mr. Duncan, CEO of Gym Galax. You have done us a great job. This is a great opportunity to be representing Gym Galax. Like, you've given us a home. This is not a gym. This is a home for me. Whenever I'm lost, I always come to this place. This is my home. Wow, big up to you, Duncan. I, I'm going to use this same platform, Duncan. You are amazing, man. Everybody gives it up to you. Uh, many bodybuilders, you're giving them a chance. Thank you so much. May God bless you for what you're doing. You're laying a brick on bodybuilding. This weekend, Saturday, we are going to be in Kampala. You know, all of you people, young people, and many Ugandans are looking up to you. Many want to be like you. Many want to come and be there as you win these titles. Do you have any message for Ugandans? I want to give each one of you a chance. A message to Ugandans and maybe to the young people who are following you, uh, you know, on the channel. We begin with you, number two. Yeah, message to Ugandans is everything is possible. All youth there, everything is possible. Anything you put your hand to, just know you can achieve it. You can do it better. Just do it with great love. Just love whatever you're doing. Just put your heart onto it. Trust me, Roma wasn't built in one day. It takes time, and all we got is time. So just do your thing. Just keep pushing. Just use a lot of morale. Eventually, we always get there. 
that's my message to all the youths there. If you want to become a bodybuilder, if you want to become a pilot, if you want to become a teacher, we all have so many dreams. For me, this is my dream, to be a bodybuilder, to perform on the biggest stage in Uganda. And my dream is not to be perform on the biggest stage in Uganda. I still have like a bigger stage. Mr. That's Mr. Olympia. Olympia. And I know eventually, eventually, maybe 2025, maybe 2024, but I'll get there. All it does, determination, hard work. Okay, That's my message. what about our brother, Fik? Number one. No. To As a champion, yeah. Fik, I have an idea for you, Ugandans. You know I'm a Ugandan also, and I do love every Ugandan. And we, the one who is proud being a Ugandan, I do appreciate. One thing, first of all, in whatever you do, first learn one thing. Don't try one thing. Never try one thing. Try everything. You know, where I started from is a long story, but whatever you get time, I'll be telling you one by one. Try many things. Do not try one thing. Try different talents. Football, you can be a film star, you can be anything, but love whatever you're doing and keep on just pushing wherever you are. Get partners, get ideas from someone who is bigger than you. Thank you so much, our brothers, for you know, giving a few minutes to share your ideas with the whole nation, the whole world. You know, we have our friends who are following from the Middle East, U.S., England, all around the world. Big up to everybody who is following up on the channel. Now, before we go, what do you want to be remembered for in this world? If you have, this is optional. If you want to be remembered for something, I give you the chance to give the answer. Do you want to be remembered for something? Do you know what you want to be remembered for? Definitely. Say it, man. Say it. <laughs> I want to be remembered as a good husband to my wife, mm -hmm. a good dad to my kids, uh -huh. a good son to my mom, uh -huh. a good friend to my friends. Uh -huh. <laughs> I want to be remembered as a good student to my teachers. Uh -huh. I want to be remembered as the great, Nash the great. Okay. okay. Give Mr. Eastern, I respect you for that, brother. You, you deserve that title. Uh, whenever I get a chance to come in the gym, I always promise, uh, you know, whoever wins the title, I promise I can load for them weights. Whatever you want, just tell me and I'll do it, man. Yeah. What do you want to be remembered for in this world? Uh, in the world, I want to be remembered as, first of all, as the guy who believes in Allah, you know I'm a Muslim. I'm Shafiq, that's my name, religion name. So I want to be remembered as a Muslim, as a believer. And second, I want to be remembered as the heaviest bodybuilder in the world. <laughs> I want to be remembered as a good friend. Let me say, I want to be like teacher to everyone. Let someone learn from me. Whatever you see me doing something of which, which you want to learn, just come to me. I want to be remembered as a simple guy. Okay, when you say that you want to be remembered, it brings me, reminds me of something that uh, I keep forgetting. Uh, you know, people are going to want to follow you up or look you up and be friends with you. So they want to know where you live or maybe if they want to train with you, if they want you to be the trainer, you know, tell us a little bit more about that where you live, how people can find you, and uh, you on Facebook, are you on Instagram, so people can follow you, you're becoming idols, you know, being number one, number two, in all Eastern Uganda, we're going to have people who come and replace you as bodybuilders, you know, when you grow older, so they all will be looking up this kind of information, brothers. If someone wants to learn from me, I'm still learning, but yeah. all I can say is, you're always welcome to train with me at Gym Galax. I'm always there. If you want me to teach you, I have a coach. I have coaches, actually. I have coaches. By the way, big up to my coaches. Coach Emma, Coach Medi, Coach Ibra. They are all the greatest coaches in Jinja. Big inspirations to me. My handles, uh, I'm Kassirian Ash. That's Instagram, Kassirian Ash. Facebook, Kassirian Ash. Everywhere, just follow me as Kassirian Ash. 
Yeah, those are my handles. I'm uh, Fik Malala. F I K M A L A L A. Yeah, on Facebook, Fik Malala. WhatsApp, Fik Malala. Instagram, Fik Malala. As usual, nothing much about like training center. As he said on Gym Galax, same coaches and same players. Gym Galax champion. Yeah. <laughs> That's why that all of us, Gym Galax yeah. champions. Gym Galax. Gym Galax champions. Big up to Duncan, big up to Baguma. Thank you everybody, thank you so much. Keep, uh, keep up on the channel, we're gonna have another interview. These were the best in physique, so we're going to have another interview with the bodybuilders, that's uh, Alex, Baguma, and Roger. Look up that video on YouTube. Thank you everybody, thank you. Hello our YouTube viewers, thanks for supporting us and viewing our videos. Please continue to share and subscribe and view more of the latest. Thanks.